Hi guys, Chris from NGK Music, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check out my brand new music video on this YouTube channel. It's called Little Light and I want to thank everybody on this YouTube channel for already having a look at it. So thank you so much guys. But for those who haven't seen it yet, please do so and let me know what you think about it. How I sing, the arrangements, the guitar solos or what now. So thank you very much guys. Today, we're taking a look at a song that I haven't seen yet, it's called No Vocalize Broadcast TV and it's written studio version. So I guess that maybe he sang it live, but what we're gonna see here is the studio, studio version, unfortunately, but still with Dimash, we get an idea of how I could sing it live anyway. So let's take a look at it without any further ado. Let's do it. Love that instrument. Love, oh boy. I actually like the, 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 the writing, it's a studio version. Like, I'm, usually they don't mention it. It's very hard to sing, like uh, it, it's going low and uh, Not only that, the, it's just the, the vocal melodies. The melody is very, it's not a classic. You're not expecting the note to go at, at certain places. That's a very low register. It's so different than anything I do or sing. That's a jump, like from low to this mid range. This instrument is insane. I really like that vibrato. He's got some ear monitoring on, so he probably li sang it live, but again, like the Vitas Opera 2, we just get the studio version. Don't know why. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. No. 
Yeah, but when you watch the video, it doesn't seem to be sync in sync, so. It, um, it reminds me a little bit the world's best performance. You know what we when we said that he, he was tired because of the traveling and everything. I, I had the same vibe here with the high notes. I felt like it was more like a, a shy high note sort of, like he would be going away from the microphone, even if it's supposed to be a studio version. Than really being uh, like giving full power on it. Maybe it's just me, you know. But I feel like the high notes were a bit shy than than usual. But anyway, what impressed me the most on this uh, particular um, performance and song is the beginning. The beginning is so complicating to sing. So complicated to sing. Um, like the melody, the vocal melody is very bizarre. Uh, it's just like. It's super low and the notes that I'm not expecting the melody to go that way if you want so uh, to better explain it so it's not the type of, of music that I that I would that I sing or that I listen to so it's very interesting and the register is really really low and I really like when it's jumping from one thing register to another when it's going through uh, maybe the pre-chorus or I don't remember what it was but uh, anyway, I really like that jump from uh, one register to another. It's he, he started very low, man. That register is very low, and again, his pitch. Well, it's a studio version, so but uh, I've never really heard um, Dimash going out of key or being out of tune, sort of. So we know he's mastering this type of registers. So uh, anyway, another great performance from the master of the wide register, from the low to the highest of the highest. Yeah, because he can go with this whistle extremely extremely high so anyway thank you very much guys for watching this is a video that has about a couple of weeks i think or maybe more i don't know but yeah i haven't haven't seen it before so it's a great sound this type of songs i would like uh, to listen to uh, from dimash the, the the one of the star of the song is that oriental instrument that's very much used in movies also or just uh, it's really um defined the oriental type of music maybe from from Asia or the Middle East or everything that is um, Mediterranean sort of uh, yeah whether it be uh, Israel, Israeli or yeah Oriental in general like a beautiful instrument crazy beautiful so anyway thank you guys for watching this video I shall see you on the next one uh, if there's something I haven't covered yet from Dimash please let me know because um, I still love to um, there's no way I'm gonna sing one of his songs. So some people are just writing this. Yeah, it would be cool to, to listen to us to to a duo, but yeah, one one day maybe. Um, if I would see like uh, see him on a different register, this operatic thing, maybe. But um, who knows? Anyway, thank you for watching. I shall see you on the next video. Chris from NGK Music. Signing out, guys. Cheers.